Right here is what we call the murder room. It's just one of the many places cold cases are stored until you, forensic evidence, or a break in the case brings them back to life. This case has cold written all over it. It's a brutal assault and murder of 29-year-old mother and wife, Debbie Labanoff. July of 1982. This case frustrated investigators, and 34 years later, we are still frustrated. Investigators in the Department of Justice Crime Lab criminalists continue to examine, evaluate, and identify forensic evidence and any potential DNA. These labs are state-of-the-art with new and improved equipment and techniques to identify and evaluate evidence and DNA. However, with all the new equipment, techniques, and tests that are now available, it still takes the skill, determination, and enthusiasm of a criminalist to locate and retain the evidence. And I can tell you, we have some of the best in the business. Debney's murder was not only brutal, but her lifeless body was dumped right here in Slab Creek Reservoir in an attempt to conceal her body. What's even more disturbing is, Julie Shoshell and Marilyn's pet bodies were located in the same body of water within weeks of Debney's, just a little farther downstream. Is this a coincidence? Are these cases related? Who's killing these young women and why? Debney's story starts here, North Carolina, where she was born to her father, Calvin, and her mother, Vivian. Debney made it out west and married her husband, George, and they had a son, where they settled right here in Pleasant Valley. The town of Pleasant Valley may have only been wishful thinking because Debney's life had all been but pleasant. Debney told her husband she was done and was headed back to the East Coast and would return for their child at a later time. Debney is believed to have run off with some new friends in 1981. She won't be the first woman to leave a life not going so well. Awful how things can just pile up on a person right before Christmas. Fast forward July 1982. Some fishermen saw what they thought was a mannequin, and when they pulled it to shore, they made the gruesome discovery. But who was it? What had happened to this victim? She would be listed as a Jane Doe, and her death, a homicide. It wasn't until a little over two years later, a call from the public led investigators to positively identify Jane Doe as Debney Labanoff. But with all that time in the water, and Debbie being listed as a Jane Doe for over two years, made this case that much tougher to solve. Witnesses would be interviewed, and suspects would be ruled out. Investigators would move on, and reports would be filed, and other cases needed to be worked. And there you have it, Debney Lavanoff's murder, another frustrating cold case. Remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we. <laughs>